about ready to go. All set. And uh, away they go. And wait a good enough start over there. Back for more, straight off to the early lead. Passchendaele's in the yellow in second. Pinnacle's the grey, wide route on the track. Racing behind them is Gimme's Lassie, the white headgear, going through along the fence. Then came Strange Magic. That's in the stripe cap with United Express for company on its outside. Two lengths away to Rose of Bayou, followed a length out there by Cherie for me. Then came Lady Mystico in the green along the fence, racing third to last. Mary Lamb outside of that, and twice to Evans, the trailer. Homeward bound, 800 metres left to go, and out in front now is Pinnacle, the grey on the outside. Racing in behind them is back for more. Passchendaele's up the far side in the yellow. Then United Express further back in the field, and the riders lost his irons on Gimme's Lassie. Further back in the field, Cherie for me as they come down to the 400 meter marker. Out in front is back for more, picked it up. Passion Dale, Gimme's Lassie's down the inside. Further back in the field, there's beyond that is strange magic as they come down to the last 100 meters. Out in front, Passion Dale, Gimme's Lassie along the inside, picks it up now. Gimme's Lassie from Passion Dale. Strange magic is on the outside and running on strongly and strange magic picks it up and goes on to win second place passchendaele gimme's lassie third and it still looks like the rider hasn't got his iron so quite a good run to run third then came here's your head on replay passchendaele in front the yellow colors two off the left and there you can see gimme's lassie on the left hand side running on under nirvana stilly who has not got a foot at the moment that's his right foot on the left-hand side of your screen. And uh, runs into third place. Strange magic in the stripe cap on the outside. But just stand by for any news on Gimme's Lassie. 12 6 9 4, first four across the line. Number five for Alan Kreef and his team having an absolutely cracking day. This time, though, it's Charlie. Charlie and Lovell who gets a chance to steer a horse to victory in the way of strange magic. I know Welcome is going to be very happy with his charge, receiving 1,500 Rand from the World Sports Betting team as initiative for the winning groom, and he's going to be greatly appreciated. I've got Tabro on hand, standing by to collect on his behalf. And Tabs, thanks very much. Tell Welcome, well done. Well done. Fantastic. Charlie's going to come on in and um, join me now. Grab your mic there, Charlie. Uh, good to say well done to Charlie for the win. And I must say, it's a little bit of a history coming up here. I've road work with uh, you for many years. I've got Tabro collecting the check on behalf of Welcome. Everyone goes back quite a while here. It's good to see everyone. Well done on the win. Yeah, you know what? Let's appreciate this uh, opportunity. You know, thanks to the boss. It's nice to work for a, a, a tough cookie like him. <laughs> <laughs> As me. I've never heard can, Alan described like that. Can, can I rush 50? I said, brother, it's winter. I can't. He asked me about three times. He said, well, you are going to ride a winner. So I said, so thank you. Yeah, it was hard work. I just had to waste from yesterday. But uh, I'm glad uh, it's all worked out. I need that the winner is... Very much. I think a couple of jockeys are laughing at you when you say I had to waste from yesterday. Louis McCourt was probably going, um, Charles, that's not losing weight. <laughs> yeah, they are saying, yeah, that, that's it. Because when I got home after work yesterday and I jumped on a scale. And you just missed supper. I was very, I was very, very disappointed. Uh, yeah, thank you very much to, to the boss. You know, thanks to everybody, Mr. Werners, Cohen, yes. the owners. You know, I really need this win. Yeah. We're going towards the uh, end of the season now. You know, yeah, I appreciate. Thank you very much. Winning form. Thank you for the support. My family at home. Thank you to everybody that supported me. I appreciate their support, you know. Fantastic, Charles. Well done. Thanks a lot. Ellen coming in to have a chat and I will say this is when our trainer interviews in the morning are so important. Ellen, this is a horse I know you stepped out United Express who um, with a having four wins behind her looked to be the favorite but she was out at the weights and you just said this is a horse who at the weights can make them run and um, yeah well done. Well, thank you um, and uh, you know it was a 
hopefully she's around three lengths behind Luna Halo. Yeah. And I said, Jolly, can you do the weight? He said, mm, I don't know. I said, no, you're going to do the weight. <laughs> I knew I was in a little bit of trouble yesterday when he phoned the office. I said, Thomas, please bring some Epsom salts home, maybe for a Epsom salts bath, or <laughs> I'm not sure if he drank Epsom salts. But uh, anyway, got down to the weight for today. Very well done to uh, Lawrence Werners and his family and to Alistair Coney. Um, for sending us fully down, Candice, thank you very much. And you know, she was, she just looked nice, and she had a good run the first time. Yeah, and I pinpointed this race. I yeah. saw she was going to carry 50, and uh, you know, I know Charles is a lightweight. He said it's winter. I said I don't care. Get down. Get down. It's <laughs> going to be worth it. <laughs> anyway, so well done to everybody concerned. Alan, congratulations. <laughs> Lots of giggles and laughs, but all aside, very well done to those concerned in Strange Magic. As Alan said, he earmarked this as a race, and for right reasons, she's come in here with no weight, and she's really, really made it work. Well ridden by Charlie, who grabbed that chance with both hands and has delivered her. She's now a three-time winner. Congratulations to the Werners family and uh, to Ellie and Candice. Congratulations.